Beauty and skincare go hand in hand, especially for those who want to show off their best skin with confidence this summer. Starting with a good skincare regime from an early age is important. But where do we even start? We have Dr. Dilshad Asmal in the studio to answer the most important questions we have about what to have on our skins this summer. Welcome, Doctor. Hello. So when is a good skincare regime essential? At what age? Well, I think you could actually start when your baby is born. Wow. Right, so remember that you have barrier functioning of the skin. So you actually want to aid barrier functioning. You want to keep the skin intact. You want to keep it whole and healthy. But obviously, when we think about cleansing routines, we think about the late childhood, early teens. Yes. And that's the normal, natural assumption. So if you're looking at that, start off with a lovely, gentle, non-soap cleanser. Something non -soap. that's not going to mm. make your skin feel squeaky clean and tight. Because there's wow. always this mis misconception that if it feels tight, it's clean. But remember, wow. that's actually stripping it's your skin. skin. Yes, yeah. of the natural oils, the barrier functioning. So get into a product that your skin likes. Yeah. And remember, if you have oily skin, then use a product with benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid in it. But learn to know your skin at a young age. And always, my pet favorite is learn about sunblock. Teach yes. your children about sunblock Definitely. from childhood. And that's something parents take for granted. I mean, we like even on the playground every day, kids need sunblock, right? Yes, it's an obvious. What are some of the other misconceptions that people have about skincare? I know that a lot of people think if it lathers and it's soapy, then it's a really great product for your skin. I've got lots of misconceptions. Yeah. The first one is that if it's expensive, it's wow and it's the best. Uh -huh. That's not true. Right, you get some beautiful shop-bought, pharmacy-bought products mm -hmm. that are excellent. Mm -hmm. They have ingredients that will be similar to the expensive product. And remember, when you're paying a lot for a product, you are buying into the whole illusion, the packaging, yes. the smell, the texture. You're right. right? Yeah. The other thing yeah. you must understand is facials. I mean, the female in me loves a facial, mm -hmm. right? But mm -hmm. the dermatologist in me doesn't. Facials have short-term benefits. They do not have long-term long -term benefits. benefits. Right, and obviously you get the relaxation and the feel-good effect afterwards, but facials can exacerbate acne. Oh, wow, right? really? So, yes, remember that. Because right? every time someone gets acne, everyone's like, go for a facial, go for I a know, facial. But that's a common misconception. The other misconception is that have a tan, it'll make you look beautiful, your skin will gl glow. Sunbeds need to be burnt. Right, there's hardcore evidence that it increases the risk of melanoma and non-melanoma really? skin cancer. Yes, and it's banned in children or people under the age of 18 in Scotland. Right, your mm. other thing is that natural and organic products are the best. Right, that cannot be totally true mm -hmm. because sometimes you need the ingredients of these products to be synthesized to actually become bioavailable and efficacious. So okay. remember, what does not all that mean? <laughs> okay, so remember that not all chemicals are bad. You have this whole parabens controversy that parabens are toxic right. and carcinogenic. There's no literature to support this. Also, take it from yeah. this that not all natural products are good. A lot of people are allergic to them as well. Yes, so remember that if you're buying a cosmeceutical, they've naturally spent lots of money investigating mm. with lab tests etc if you're buying an organic product there are no tests wow right the other common misconception is that vitamin a products are bad for you vitamin a creams are probably one of the best anti-aging creams you could possibly use hardcore scientific research to back this up wow coming on that serums cannot remove wrinkles but they're excellent for free radical protection. So what I think is that every person should use a serum. Serums are the way to go. Okay. I use serums okay. every awesome. day. <laughs> right. The other thing is that products don't last. Right. Keep it for about 12 months. After that, they biodegrade. Get a new they one. get bacterial yeah. contamination. Yeah. You know, all those things. So buy a new one. Awesome. Thank you so much, Doctor. My pleasure. <laughs> Great advice. Vitamin A and serums. There you have it. But that's not all, because Clix has given you the chance to win one of three Avene Skin Care Hampers to the value of 
500 rand each to protect your skin from the harmful UV rays of the sun and to keep you looking great this summer. All you have to do is SMS the keyword clicks, your name and city to double three seven two eight, and you could be one of our lucky winners. SMSs cost one rand fifty and T's and C's apply. Visit afternoonexpress.co.za to find them. After the break, we get under the skin with actor and all-round legend Maps Mabonyani. Clicks. Feel good. Pay less. Hello, YouTubers. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel because we've got full episodes available for you. All those really cool interviews we've done, all the cool performances are right over there for you. So all you have to do is click subscribe. It's somewhere over here on this side of my face. Click it right now. Do it.